Hi, my name is Nathan Randall Green. Uh, I'm an artist. I'm a Texan. I just recently moved to New York. I've spent the last six days in Salina, Texas, painting a mural for the Light Farms community. I grew up in Houston, Texas, and then I went to the University of Texas at Austin, where I majored in studio art. When I lived in Dallas, I worked a day job, and that was being the assistant curator of education for the uh, Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth. After that, I moved to New York, and now uh, I've got a studio in Brooklyn where I just make my own work. So I was approached in early 2016 about uh, maybe designing and painting a mural for this warehouse. It was sort of an eyesore. It was a big storage facility. A lot of people from the community drive by it every day, and it was just like corrugated steel, pretty boring. The initial design, a lot of that was based on some of these amazing architectural qualities of this community. The community was really cool because I got to actually be a part of it, take photographs, figure out what I thought was really visually striking about it, and then capitalize on those kind of elements for my design. So when I was touring the community, I was in the information center and was struck by these amazing giant timber beams that were like a hundred and something years old. I think it was moved from a barn in upstate New York. I really loved all the kind of tongue and groove construction. I really love the kind of intersecting lines and what happens when the, you know, you kind of like navigate around the space and see these things interact with each other. I was struck by the farm stands, construction. A lot of the land is like peppered with these like old beautiful antique tractors that have like a fresh cone of paint. Combined with like the color of the sorghum plants that were in bloom out there with uh, the green of some of the fields with the giant like Texas blue sky. A lot of those colors are actually reflected in the mural. The building itself is like 17 feet tall and 120 feet wide. So I broke it up into five sections, each are the same size. Each of the five sections is kind of based off of one architectural element of the community. You know, it started out, it was a corrugated steel building that is super difficult to paint on. If that building disappears, the work would as well. We decided that we were going to cover the building in sheet metal. This way, it would be a nice flat surface for me to paint on, and if the building um, you know, needs to get relocated, they can take the work apart and potentially reconfigure it to kind of you know, make a new abstraction. But once the sheet metal was installed on the work, then we spent a day priming it with a couple coats of metal primer. After that, some friends of mine came up from Austin. They brought like a short throw projector with my drawing. We projected the drawing onto the building and uh, snapped all the lines with chalk line. So once the chalk lines were down, then we had the design on the wall. At that point, we spent two or three days just filling in colors. So it was kind of a paint by number exercise. We're looking at the design, kind of making some decisions on the fly, changing a few things now that we're actually in the space as opposed to on a computer screen. couple days of just doing that. You know, some of the colors took one coat, some of the colors took five coats. Once the colors were totally done, at that point, it was kind of like the finished work, the detail work. That's when we do the black lines. So it was maybe two days of stretching out blue tape and spraying all those lines on. So the process of making the painting at Light Farms was really great. It was nice and quiet. We were across the street from like a couple of cows that were moving throughout the day. Frequently people would like honk or give me a thumbs up. A couple families stopped, introduced themselves, talked to me and you know, the guy that was helping me and uh, yeah, it was cool. Like we got to know a couple of different families. They would come throughout the day, say hi, check on it, talk to little kids. It was pretty cool. We didn't even play music when we were out there. We just kind of enjoyed the quiet, uh, the open space and the nice views. For sure, this has been like an incredible experience for me. Oftentimes, working as an artist, you're in your studio, you're by yourself. The opportunity to come outside of the studio and make something that's like um, responding to a site and make something that's literally probably 20 times bigger than anything I've ever done has been really cool for me. I really wanted to create like a warm, vibrant piece of art that, uh, you know, just like injected a little bit of color onto a wall that didn't have it before. So to the residents of Life Farms, thank you and I hope you enjoy it.